7 News starting with breaking news. Within the last hour, State Senator John Morse concedes in his recall race. Tonight's historic vote leading to the first recall in state history. With 96% of precincts reporting right now, 51% of voters are behind his recall. Also facing a recall tonight is State Senator Angela Hiron from Pueblo. With about 62% of precincts reporting, 60% of voters now behind the recall of Huron. Mark Stewart is closely watching both races from Colorado Springs. Mark, some people were crying as Morse gave his concession speech. The crowd clearly emotional, and yet Senator John Morse uh, was very calm, almost accepting of his defeat, telling the crowd that he can be just as effective as an everyday citizen, despite the fact he is the first Colorado lawmaker to be recalled. As far as the vote is concerned, this was not a big surprise to him. He knows that the po politics in the state are changing, pointing back to the 2010 election. He barely won re-election after redistricting. He knew he was vulnerable and he knew that his opponents, especially those who were against his stance on the gun legislation, were very well organized. But as the country watches and certainly the state, he did express some concern that the recall, the tool of the recall, could soon become commonplace, soon could be a common everyday action here in Colorado. I do worry that um, now that a recall has been successful, that it will become a political tactic for both sides and that we'll end up in general elections in the even numbered years and recalls in the odd numbered years. I think that's a horrible way to govern. I don't think that's what should happen. As John Morris acknowledges his defeat, we are watching very closely in Pueblo, where Angela Hiron is also in a very tough race. In fact, right now, the numbers show that she is behind about 20 to 25 percent. This is video of her addressing her supporters just about 15, 20 minutes ago. She is asking them to stand by her, but when you do the math, this is certainly an uphill battle. Back here live in Colorado Springs, as far as John Morris is concerned, once this election is certified, he will lose his spot in the state Senate, certainly as Senate president. He says he will return to work, though, as a CPA, as an accountant, like he did for so many years before. As far as the political makeup in the state Senate, that's something to watch. If both Senators Morris and her own lose their seats, as the numbers are certainly waving to tonight, Democrats will still have a majority in the Senate, but it will only be by one vote. We are live in Colorado Springs tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News. Thank you, Mark. And 7 News updating the election results as we get them on the 7 News app. You can track the numbers and developments anytime right from your phone.